So it started as a website um, to speak to the issues of our kids going through teenage years, leaving home for whatever they're leaving home for, if they're going to military or work or, or further on in their education, because it really wasn't much on the internet for parents of 14 year olds, 15 year olds, 16 year olds. The internet was full of information about, you know, our under fives or our under eights, um, as if somehow these latter years of parenting were easier. And anyone who's been through them knows that they are perhaps harder and certainly scarier than those early years. So initially we were a website. We have 900 writers on the website so that we can bring a huge diversity of experience, of expertise. Some of our writers are, you know, physicians or educators or psychologists, and many of them are parents just writing from their own perspective and their own experience about parenting through this um, period in time. And then we became a Facebook group and that sort of took on a life of its own because over there, we have 280,000 parents um, discussing every aspect from the most mundane, you know, do these shoes match the prom dress sort of thing to, you know, my kid just got a DUI and is in jail and has anyone else had an experience like this because I'm scared out of my mind. This is the point in life where our kids may be geographically separated from us and things happen that they may not be prepared to deal with or maybe unexpected. Yeah. Illness, injury whatever. And our parents literally support each other by helping each other's kids all over the country. Yeah, um, You can come in and say, you know, I'm in Pennsylvania, my kid's in Texas, we've got a problem there in the ER. And there will be a parent who will say, I can go there from you for you. Just let me know where. Grown and Flown is one of the communities that I always mention whenever I do live events. I don't even know if you know this. I put a big slide up and I say, you. you need to go to Grown and Flown because when you have a problem, when you feel alone, when you are nervous and afraid, this community has people who have been there and done it who can support you and comfort you. And not and they're not just gonna tell you what you wanna hear, right? Like you there's a foundation of love and understanding. They're gonna tell you what you need to hear, even if it's not what you want to hear. Would you agree with that? I would. And a lot of it is super, super constructive. Um, information yeah. that you may not have because you're just entering whatever situation you're in. Sometimes it's a different point of view. You know, have you considered, I look at this differently. This is how I think about it. You know, so many of the things that we go through in our real world lives, we don't know anyone else going through the same thing. Let's just use that example I used of a, a, a DUI or a child's cheated in college and gotten caught or cheated in high school and gotten caught. You might not know anybody going through that exact thing of anything in your life, the good things and the bad things. But when you walk into a community of 280,000 people, you will find dozens and dozens of parents who have walked the exact road you're walking. You know, I always say that our lives are really different, but our problems are really the same. Yeah. You know, and so when you do that, and you particularly when parents come to us and they, they're at the beginning of a situation, something about their life is changing, something about their relationship with their child is changing, something happened to their child, they're in a little state of crisis and they don't know where to turn. And when other parents can say, here's a group, here's a website, here's some books, here's some information, so helpful. 